today I want to talk about KitchenAid versus the Bosch because I get a lot questioned all the time why I use a Bosch over a KitchenAid and which one I prefer. So for when I first got married, I got the KitchenAid because it looks cuter on the counter and that's the style that I was used to where it's just one big bowl and it's got the mixture of the hook on the middle. So that's what I was used to and that's what I wanted and they were cheaper. So I bought a KitchenAid and I loved it. It was fine, it worked for my small family's needs. And then as time went on, I wanted something that was just a little bit bigger. And my mom had loved her Bosch and I'd heard a lot of good things. So I finally made the plunge and I bought a Bosch. I think I paid like $375 maybe, anywhere, it was probably between $350 to $400 for this Bosch. And it had a good warranty on it, it had some good attachments that were connected with it well, on the sale that I bought. So I've used that and I use it all the time and it's still going strong. So today we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison on the Bosch versus the KitchenAid. Okay, to have a better comparison, I have the Professional 600 series and it's 575 watts and a six quart mixer. So it's a little bit bigger than your standard one. It's still not the huge, huge one. I don't know the different sizing on KitchenAids, honestly, but this is not your standard one. This is a lot bigger. It's got the lift, you know, the cranker over here. That is the KitchenAid. And then I have my Bosch over here, which is 800 watts and it's a Universal Plus. This is kind of the standard one that they sell. And I'm just gonna give you a comparison. I'm gonna make the same recipe in each mixer. I'll start them at the same time and we'll see which one goes faster and which one can withhold, can sustain it, right? Okay, so the past few days I have been using my Bosch and I've been making the same recipe five times back to back and the machine has been strong the whole time. No problems, no hiccups, no sweating. You know, I mean, by the end the machine's a little bit hot, but I've done this for a long time and it's fine. I don't do it daily. I do this much work about three times a year. So all week, for about a week, I'm making this recipe five times and it's still going strong. We still love it. Um, the lid is great. Like I've done with a lot of my other bread recipes is I'll leave, just if it's a smaller batch, this is a pretty big batch, but I'll leave the dough in here right after it's done mixing and it just rises in here instead of transporting it to another bowl and letting it rise, it just rises right in this bowl because it's got, you know, both lids. I will add all of the ingredients and show you how we go. I'm making um, cinnamon rolls and I can make three dozen cinnamon rolls in one bowl in the Bosch, okay? And this is just a Universal Plus 800 watt. I paid three to $400 for it and it came with some attachments. Okay, three dozen cinnamon rolls, it's still mixing. Over here, I borrowed my neighbor's KitchenAid Professional 600, okay? It's supposed to be really big and really industrious. So I wanted to have two sets going at the same time. Here's the size of the bowl, right? Oop, there's my reflection. Okay, so here's the size of the bowl. It's pretty big. I barely fit five, it was four and a half pounds of flour and five cups of water. Okay, it barely fit in here. And towards the end, I could smell a little bit of burning in the motor. <laughs> and it was struggling. So, and that's for the professional. So three dozen cinnamon rolls barely worked in the professional. So my hands down professional opinion says go with the Bosch. The Bosch, you guys. Fits so much more and I will do this five times every day for the next week. And I've never smelled it burning. I've never had any problems. Hands down, the Bosch is the better option. I don't think I'm gonna even be able to use the other one for the next two rounds today because I don't want to ruin it. It is my friend's anyway, so I wouldn't do that to her, but I really just don't want to ruin it. So there is my professional opinion. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Crap, where should I even looking? Was I looking in the wrong spot the whole time? Does it look like I'm looking weird? Okay, let's try that again.